Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we will take a look at higher order functions in Kotlin. One of the amazing things about Kotlin is that it has a support of functional programming. That means Kotlin functions can be stored in a variable as we saw in the previous video while we were working with Lambda functions. Functions can also be passed to other function as argument and can also be returned from a function. So let's start with the definition. What is a higher order function? Well, we know that in Kotlin, a function can be passed as a parameter or it can be returned from a function. The function which does the same is known as a higher order function. In other words, a higher order function is a function that takes function as a parameter or a return a function. So what kind of function we pass in a higher order function? So we can pass an anonymous function or a lambdas, but frequently lambdas are passed as a parameter because they are more widely used. So first we are going to define a higher order function that accepts a lambda function as a parameter. So I'm going to type fun. Let's call this a higher order fun. So it's a higher order function. So to define the arguments that a function can take, we start with the name of the parameter followed by its type. So for example, if our function receives a name, we type a name and this will be of type string. In a similar fashion, if our function receives a number, so we call it number and we type int here. And we can also pass arrays or lists or vectors or any other data type. So how can we pass a function in here? What would be the syntax? So to pass a function, we type, so let's call this function a lambda. So we'll start with defining the name of the parameter. And then I'm going to set the type. Since this will be a function, so we'll define a lambda later. So our lambda won't be receiving any arguments and this will return nothing so we'll type a unit here so that's how we can define a higher order function which accepts a lambda here so let's go ahead and define our lambda function to define a lambda we'll type var we'll call it lambda and this will take no argument and this will return nothing and there we'll define the body of the lambda function and we'll just call a print ln function and I'm going to pass in hello world. So that's our lambda as we have defined up here inside the main function. And there are two type of lambda functions that we can pass. So lambda expression which return unit like this one and lambda expressions which return any of the value for example integer or string etc. So let's call our function and uh, let's pass this lambda function. So we'll call higher order function just like a regular function. And we can see here that this function receives a lambda. So here I'm going to pass in our lambda here. And now the question is how we can invoke uh, this lambda function or how we can make use of this lambda function inside of our higher order func. So to call this function, we'll just call the lambda function just like an ordinary function. So we'll type lambda followed by a set of parentheses. So in this way, we are invoking this lambda function inside of higher order function. So now we are going to run our program and let's observe what we get in the output window. So our program is up and running and here we can see we have hello world printed down in the output window. All right, so let us understand this program step by step. So in the top, we define a lambda expression, which contains a print ln statement, right? Then we define a higher order function, which contains one parameter. And this parameter is a lambda function. So lambda is the local name for the receiving lambda parameter right here. This set of parentheses represent that the function does not accept any arguments. A unit represents that this function doesn't return any value. In the main function, we have invoked the higher order function by passing the lambda expression as a parameter. And inside the higher order function, we invoke the lambda function just like a normal function. 
so that's how we use a higher order function okay so let us now define another higher order function which prints the sum of two integers so firstly I'm going to remove all this let's start by defining the higher order function so I'm going to call it add or oh, let's call it higher func and this function will accept a lambda so we'll call this lambda add and the type of this lambda will be it will be an int here the function will take two integers and this will return an integer so here we have the body of this higher order function now we are going to define our lambda function so I'm going to call this a lambda and this will take an integer and this will return an int and inside here we'll define the two arguments a and b both will be of type integer and the function will return a plus b so we have defined our lambda function and now let's call this function inside of higher order function so I'm gonna call add I'm gonna pass in two numbers two numbers like two and a three for example and then I'm going to print the result on this output window since this function returns an integer so I'm going to catch the value in a variable called result print ln and I'm going to call the sum of two numbers is and let's print the value of result here and finally we are going to call our higher order function and we'll pass in the lambda as an argument all right so let's run the program so our program is up and running and here we can see the sum of two numbers is a five so instead of passing two numbers here what we can do is we can receive the argument like inside the higher order function and then we can pass these values to the lambda function so we can receive a num1 here num2 and instead of receiving both the values here we can pass in num1 here and we can pass num2 here 2 and 3 so in this way we can also use the parameters of the higher order function that we get here we can also use these parameters as arguments to the lambda function there is another way to invoke this lambda function so instead of calling add like a normal function what we can do is we can call add dot invoke and we are going to pass in num1 and num2 here so that's another another way of invoking a lambda function inside of a higher order function so let's run the program to see the output so our program is up and running and we can see we get the same output the sum of two numbers is a five so that's another way of invoking the lambda function another important thing to note is that instead of defining a lambda function and storing it in a variable what we can do is we can define the lambda function here since we can also pass anonymous function as argument to a higher order function so we can define our anonymous function inside the call to higher order function so this will receive a num1 which will be of type int num2 this will be of type integer and it's going to return num1 plus num2 and then we can remove this so that's another way to define a lambda function or an anonymous function and pass it to a higher order function so let's run the program one, one more time and let's see what we get in the output window so we can observe that we get the same output the sum of two numbers is five so while calling the higher order function if the function that we define is the last argument or is the last parameter then we can move this lambda expression out of the parentheses 
so I'm going to cut it from here and I'm going to paste it here so that's another way to call a higher order function and pass in an anonymous function so now let's take a look at how we can return a function from a higher order function so I'm going to remove all this and now we are going to define a higher order function that returns a, a lambda expression or a function so let's define our higher order function so I'm gonna call it higher order func and here is uh, the body of that function so now what we are going to do is we are going to return a lambda expression or a lambda function from this higher order function because higher order functions can uh, return a function so to achieve this our return type will not be a unit so it won't be a unit or an integer or a string so the return type will be a function so how can we write our return type so since our return type will be a function because this higher order function will return a function so we can start with defining the argument list and then the return type of that lambda function so our lambda function will take a name as an argument which will be of type string and our lambda function will not return anything so that's why we have written a unit here so inside the higher order function body we are going to write a print statement inside higher order function Oops. And since this function returns a lambda function, I'm going to define that lambda function after the return statement. So we know how to define a lambda function. We start with parentheses. So this function will take a name as an argument. So name, this will be of type string. And then we have the body of this function. So we can type println inside the lambda function and then I'm going to call print ln and let's say say hello to name uh, I think we have an extra pair of brackets here so I'm going to remove these so this is our lambda function that will be returned from this higher order function so now inside the main function I'm going to call my higher order function since this function will be returning a lambda function we are going to store the value in a variable called let's call it a lambda function we can also specify the type that will be returned the type of the function that will be returned so this the function that we are getting will take an argument of type string and this will return a unit or we can ignore this if the type can be inferred by the compiler so now we are going to call our lambda function which was returned from this higher order function and our lambda function will take a string so I'm going to pass in max here so let's run the program and let's see what we get in the output window so our program is up and running and here we can see when we came inside the higher order function we get this message inside higher order function and inside the lambda we have two print statements the first one says inside the lambda function which is printed here and the second one says say hello to the name that we pass in here so we passed max so this says say hello to max so that's how we can return a function from a higher order function all right so that's it for this video and in the next video we will take a look at inline functions in kotlin